Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the portfolio. Again, want to start off the video by saying thank you to all of you guys for the support on the channel. Immensely appreciate it. The channel is growing. I'm having a ton of fun putting out these videos. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos as well. If you guys like the videos, feel free to like, share, and if you're so inclined to subscribe to the channel, definitely appreciate the support. And make sure if you are a subscriber that you hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content that is posted on the channel. Today, I want to respond to a few viewer requests about talking about shorting stocks on the portfolio. As you guys know, there's really no way to short stocks on Robinhood. Uh, you can buy stocks, but you can't necessarily borrow stocks from the brokerage account to short stocks. And just a quick reminder what shorting stocks is. It's essentially like borrowing a stock from a stockbroker. And at some point in the future, you have to give the stock back to the stockbroker. And what you're hoping for is that the stock will drop in price. A very easy way to think about this is, for example, you ask your brokerage account, for example, to borrow VOO here. So essentially the stockbroker would sell off that stock uh, for $236 currently. They would give you that money and then they would have a stipulation in the future. You would have to give VOO back to them. It doesn't really matter when, but you would have to give them uh, that stock back to them when they wanted to. And there's a certain criteria and parameters that surround that, a few rules that surround that. But essentially you'd hope that the price of the stock would decrease. For example, let's say you, you borrowed at 237, and the stock went down to 137. You can buy that stock back for 137, give it back to your stockbroker, and essentially that difference in which they sold at 237 versus the 137, which you bought it back, you would keep that difference. So you would made $100 on that trade. Uh, another example would be SPY here. Let's say you want to short this stock. You say to your stockbroker, I want to short SPY. Uh, let's say you just want to do one share. They essentially would sell it at $258. And then it is essentially your responsibility to pay back the stockbroker in that share. So you're hoping that this stock would, again, drop in price. Let's say it goes from 258 to 158 You buy that stock back for 158 and That difference, the 258 versus the 158 is what you make on the stock. So that's essentially what shorting a stock is. is isn't currently available right now. Hopefully in the future it is. And uh, I want to talk about that because a lot of viewers are wondering, how can you short stocks on Robinhood? You can actually do that. You just have to do it indirectly. So, for example, I have a couple very well-known S&P 500 stocks, really just giving you an idea what the overall stock market is doing. A VOO here, as you can see, in the last day of trading, down 0.27%. In a similar fashion, another very large S&P 500 stock down 0.29%. And likewise, for the NASDAQ, if we scroll to the bottom here, you see this is actually a fund that is tracking a modified market cap weighted index of 100 NASDAQ listed stocks. You can see this was also down a little bit more than the S&P, 0.4%. So a way to play this particular market is by investing in an entity like this. Uh, this is a ProShares short QQQ stock. So this is actually shorting a stock. So as you can see here, as the QQQ version went down 0.39%, this actually went up about the same amount, 0.42%. The underlying stocks are a little bit different between these two stocks. But you can see as the stock market went down in a traditional portfolio of stocks that you're hoping the stock market goes up, this stock actually goes up. So this is a very good way of shorting a stock without necessarily doing it the traditional way. And you can see on the bottom there, this is a pro share short QQQ. An inverse exposure, again, that's simply uh, stating that this is shorting the stock to a modified market cap weighted index of 100 of the largest non-financial uh, issues listed on the NASDAQ. So a little bit different underlying uh, portfolio here. But as you can see, as the market goes down, this goes up. And you can get even more sophisticated by doing an entity like this. This is a ProShares Ultra Pro Short QQQ. And you can see here, it is, uh, uh, again, a modified market cap weighted index of 100 of the largest non-financial issues on the NASDAQ. But this is 3x inverse exposure. So as you can see, uh, this is up 1.21. This is up 0.4. So this is up three times the uh, traditional short there. So a lot of different ways that you can short a stock on Robinhood. If you think the market is going to be going down, you can invest in these entities and these are really meant to be day trading and swing trading entities. These are not buy and hold stocks. 
uh, at all. As you can see over the last one year, this is down 57.99%. Last five years, 96.96% because these are not stocks that you buy and hold for the longer term. Uh, likewise, this stock here over the last five years, it's down 66.2%. So as I started off the discussion talking about VOO, this is definitely a stock that you can hold for the longer term. You can see it's up 108.1% over the last five years. SPY, again, in a similar fashion, 107.11. Essentially are holding the same stocks. QQQ here as well, up 159.53. Again, this is a, a NASDAQ uh, stock, but the shorting stocks, you don't want to do that. These are entities to be held for a very short amount of time for day and swing trading only. So this is a way that you can short a stock in the stock market, not by necessarily doing it the traditional way of simply borrowing it from your stockbroker, but using these ETFs that are doing it for you. So sort of an indirect way of shorting stocks on the stock market. So again, I started off the discussion with very large S&P 500 stocks here, VOO, SPY, very large pro shares, NASDAQ, a stock as well. And then the inverse uh, stocks to that, the PSQ here, 1x exposure, and then the SQQ here, 3x exposure. And there's a lot of different products out there. Uh, go ahead and search those. There are a number. I just brought up a few here. But there are literally uh, 40 or 50 different types of shorting ETFs. And they're shorting ETFs for all sorts of different sectors as well. Oil, uh, financials, a uh, very uh, good one that I saw recently, a retail inverse ETF as well. If you think a particular market industry is not going to be doing well, you can invest in those. Again, in a kind of a day or swing trading fashion, you don't want to hold these for the longer term, but they're very good ways of anticipating market movements and trying to take advantage of that in the trading scheme of things. So that is how you short on Robinhood, uh, on any stockbroker for that matter, uh, inverse ETF. So a lot of uh, videos that I put out about this in the past. A lot of you guys uh, were new subscribers to the channel wondering how you do this. So I just wanted to do a quick update video here. Again, showing you guys a couple of very large S&P 500 stocks, a NASDAQ stock, as well as the shorting method of doing it. And there are also inverse ETFs for these large S&P 500 stocks as well. Simply didn't put uh, bring those up in this video, but they do exist. And you can definitely just go ahead and Google uh, inverse ETF, or even in the brokerage account, you can Google inverse or short and these will pop up. So that is how you short stocks on the stock market. Please let me know if you guys have been utilizing this strategy, if you've had any success with it, any good pointers on how to utilize these stocks the best way. Please let me know. Again, the danger behind these is holding these longer term. You don't want to do this uh, for a longer term buy and hold strategy. These are simply ways of playing market movements in the shorter term. So not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it there. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, we'll see you then.